Hello everyone, this is Tom bringing you uh, Dewey as well with a little bit of very weird news from Resident Evil 6. Uh, they just announced a $1,300 collector's edition. Uh, well, $1,300 is a little bit disingenuous. It's not actually available in the United States. It's only available in Japan. Uh, but the equivalent yen of $1,300. Um, it comes with some cell phone covers and also a complete replica of Leon Kennedy's leather jacket from the game. Um, this is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, I, I was like, I th Dewey didn't believe me when I told him. <laughs> no, I'm like, this isn't legit. There's, there's no way this is legit. And sure enough, Link is sent. It is legit. And I'm baffled by it. I know. I, I'm not... I'm not entirely like I, I guess there's probably people that are just super fans of of Resident mm -hmm. Evil that are going to buy this. Um, it's like kind of down the lines of a lot of people have been looking at all the games coming out and even some of the new games having these massive collectors editions and you know people are like eh, I don't know if I'm okay with this like we really just want the game and maybe some cool like art book or something like that but this is like taking that collector's edition to the, to a new level of, you know, we're gonna, you know, I'm sure before the end of, like, 2013, we're gonna see, like, cars being sold with freaking collector's editions, so... Yeah, isn't, isn't well, I guess that there's, like, already, I think, a Call of Duty edition Jeep or something yeah. like that out there. So you can, that, it's not a special edition, but it <laughs> might come with a copy of the game because you're buying a freaking car, right? <laughs> yeah. So I, I don't know. It, it just it definitely jumped out to me as something insane, um, and and I don't know. I, would I buy this? God no. I'm not that big of a Resident Evil fan. I mean, I, I like the series, but um, I'm not gonna pay thirteen hundred dollars for a jacket. Yeah, no, I'm I'm, I'm not gonna be purchasing this one either. <laughs> uh... <laughs> I'm curious, like how, like what the quality is of this jacket, because I would hope that it's like a pretty damn good jacket. I, I would also hope for thirteen hundred dollars. Like the... the reason I ask is because a lot of times you end up paying like one hundred fifty, two hundred dollars for a lot of these collector's editions, and like the stuff that you get in them, it's not like the highest quality stuff in the world. Like it kind of looks cool, but it feels like if you drop it on the floor, it'll break into like a billion pieces. So I'm just curious if they're if they just really went all out, or if it's just like this is some super special collector's edition that you know. It's gonna be rare to get, so. Sure, yeah. Um, it is. It is a limited edition. I don't remember the exact number. I think it was a thousand of them they're making. So there is that, but I don't know. It's setting the bar pretty high to start out with, right? Like, do, do you <laughs> actually think you're gonna be able to recoup thirteen hundred dollars if, like, <laughs> if you're like doing this to try and like sell it on eBay later? Yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't know if that's gonna happen. <laughs> one one thing I could see happening is. Uh, the people in Japan that can actually buy this, maybe maybe on like day one or day two, you can resell this thing for like two thousand dollars to people that never had the opportunity to buy it. Because as much as there's super fans in Japan, there's got to be super fans everywhere else too, and they don't even have the option of buying this outrageously overpriced jacket. So Bill Gates is eyeing this from his basement, just like, ooh, I want this jacket, but I can't buy it. I'm sure, though, Bill Gates could probably find a way to buy it from Japan. <laughs> yeah, I, and I bet if Bill Gates was just like, hey, I'd like to wear around this leather jacket that you're selling for $1,300, is that cool? Capcom would be like, yeah, take three. <laughs> <laughs> true enough, true enough. Uh, so yeah, we're so we are going to be covering definitely Resident Evil 6, so I'll look forward to more like information of that kind of statured come, right? Yes, absolutely. Um, you know, probably a little bit more on the content side, unless on the, wow, that's just so ridiculous, we have to cover it. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, that'll just about do it. I don't have much more to add. Do you, Dewey? Nope, I'm good. All right, well, I will see you all next time.